हेलो चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम टू द सेकेंड पीरियड ऑफ चैप्टर वन दैट इज फूड वेयर डज इट कम फ्रॉम इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैड अ डिस्कशन अबाउट फूड एंड इंग्रीडियंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सोर्सेज ऑफ फूड एज यू कैन सी द कैप्शन ऑन अवर मॉनिटर ऑल्सो फूड मटेरियल्स एंड सोर्सेज मीन्स वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट दीज फूड आइटम्स विच वी आर ईटिंग वेयर डज दीज फूड आइटम कम फ्रॉम when we were talking about ingredients one question always arises in our mind that where does these ingredients come from means where do we get from the, these ingredients from for example what is the source of rice or wheat the question the answer to this question is of course plants means rice and wheat are obtained from plants similarly where does milk come from and the answer is that we get milk from animals thus we find that plants as well as animals are the source of food in nature well this is now quite clear that for plants and animals both are the sources of food in nature here today we are going to discuss more in detail about plants as a source of food plants are the sources of food ingredients like grains cereals vegetables and fruits second thing is one should know is grain plants can prepare their food using carbon dioxide water and sunlight so they are called as producers means the plants are green plants are able to prepare their food by the process of photosynthesis and hence they are providing food to animals including humans directly or indirectly these food items which the plants are uh, giving us all the uh, food items it is obtained from the plant parts in a plant it is not necessary that all the parts of the plant are eatable there are a specific portion of any particular plant which is eaten by animals and humans here we will discuss about you are knowing well that in the plant there are different parts of the plants like roots stem branches leaves uh, flowers fruits etc many parts of plants are eaten as food plants parts such as leaves roots stem seeds are and fruits are edible in different plants the parts of the plant which are safe to be eaten are known as edible uh, parts there are many such plants which have two or more edible parts for example i have written here two one is mustard plant and second is banana seeds of mustard plant give us oil and the leaves of the mustard plants are used as vegetable similarly different plants are parts of the plant banana plant is edible for example its flower and food so we can say flower and food are the edible part of banana plant here i have collected some examples of edible part in different plants for example in case of spinach and lettuce we can say the edible part of this plant are the leaves in case of carrot and radish we find that the portion which we are eating as our food is their roots potato and ginger are the edible part are their stems tomato and pumpkin the edible part is their Uh, fruits and in case of rice and wheat we are eating the seeds means the seeds of this plant is the edible part of that plants food can also be obtained from non green plants these include edible fungi such as mushroom in the previous uh, lecture i was telling you just a few minutes before i was telling you about that the plants and animals are the sources of food there are some non green plants which is, for example i have written here edible fungi such as mushroom which is uh, eaten as food but we should not test any unknown plants because some plants may be poisonous so if you find any plant it do not do not try to test them immediately because most of them if you are unknown to them it can be poisonous and it could be dangerous for you people now another topic which we are going to discuss about is about the sprouted seeds sprouts <coughs> for this what we can we do is we can perform one activity and in this activity we will discuss about how we can perform and how we can obtain <coughs> sprouted seeds for this what i would advise you to do is 
take some uh, chana seeds and uh, in that chana seed you uh, keep it in a vessel and place it uh, in a container for few uh, in a container for a day with water then next day drain the water immediately completely and leave the seeds in the vessel wrap it with a piece of wet cloth and uh, keep it aside for a day or two after day or two what you will notice that a small white structure starts growing out of the seeds and these seeds are then called as sprouted seeds these is, uh, sprouted seeds are very useful to us because these are very nutritious and rich in proteins so in uh, if we uh, if i go to conclude the lecture i uh, we came across to know about two things more in detail first is plants acts as a source of food second thing what we studied about a new term that is sprouted seeds these sprouted how, how do we make the sprouted seeds and what are the edible part of a plant here uh, with this uh, video I am going to send one attachment also in which the process of uh, making uh, this uh, activity, performing this activity will be given. I hope you will try to attempt it uh, at your home. Thank you children.